It is April 3rd, 2024, and this business behind me, Farm and Home Mutual Insurance, is 150 years old today here in Washington, Iowa. And this episode, I am interviewing Suzanne Wood, and she accepted an award for Farm and Home Mutual back on March 25th from the Washington uh, Chamber of Commerce and it is the Business of the Year Award. And this episode is brought to you by Griner Auto Body of Washington, Iowa. Using state-of-the-art techniques and decades of experience to get your car back on the road after an accident. Car Doctor of Washington, Iowa. No matter who Frankenstein it, they can fix and clean and customize it. McDonald Boneyard of Kyoto, Iowa for all of your farm equipment and auto recycling needs. Hinshaw Trailer Sales of <laughs> you thought I was going to forget where they're at. Richland, Iowa. If you need a trailer, they've got your trailer. And they fix what they sell and don't in their full-time repair shop. Girling Repair of Winfield, Iowa. If your mower is dead, call Fred, your Husqvarna, Aaron's, and Gravely dealer. B&B Propane and the family of Jet Stops present Southeast Iowa Today. I'm John Bain, author of Christie's Journey, The Beat Goes On, and your host. Let's get right to it. Ladies, welcome to the program. It's so nice to be able to have you you on, uh, Michelle and Suzanne. I mean, we've got chamber person and we've got business of the year right here today. And uh, Michelle, tell our audience how the chamber decides on business of the year. Yeah, so each year we uh, ask our community members and our chamber members to submit nominations for a business that they see as kind of exceeding the bar. So um, we have a few uh, qualifications that we remind our um, our community members. So um, looking for businesses that display qualities of leadership, cooperation, teamwork. Um, they're active in the chamber, they're active in the community, and they just have an overall spirit of the overall improvement of the community. Very good. And do you get, do a lot of people submit for this? Yes, we yeah. do get um, quite a few nominations. And, um, you know, there's a few nominations that I would think I'm like, oh, that's, yeah, that's a good fit uh -huh. and obvious. And then there are always some other businesses too that um, are, doing crazy awesome things that I'm not aware of. And so it really helps us to understand what's happening in the community, sure. who's growing, celebrating milestones. And so it's informational for us as well. Well, on March 25th, Chamber had its big annual dinner at the Riverside Casino and Golf Resort. Mm -hmm. I think that was a Monday night, was it? Or Correct. Correct. And this lady right here, Suzanne, became uh, the recipient of the Business of the Year and this is for uh, Farm and Home Mutual Insurance. And something that I found out today that I want to share with the audience, today is April 3rd, 2024, and it is the sesquicentennial birthday, 150-year birthday for uh, Farm and Home Mutual Service. It is. Insurance, mutual insurance, I should say. Yes. So congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. What was it like? Okay. <laughs> we need confetti. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. Something should fall from the ceiling. What was it like when you were announced that night that uh, your business was the business of the year? It was very, it, it felt very complete just because of our age and, you know, how long we've been in the community. And we are the oldest continuous business in Washington County. Wow. So it felt very complete, especially with our 150th but on the flip side again i was competing with the iowa women's game so you know i didn't know how uh, fast or slow to go with my uh, with acceptance your, there you go well you know the hawkeyes won and they won the other night and they're, they're continuing to yes. go so hopefully they'll get into the final yeah. four but um when you look back and uh how long have you been with the business um, I uh, came back to Iowa in 2015 to because my father had a health event. So, and mm -hmm. he was the president here. Okay. And worked here for many years, and so I started working here in 16 as a claims adjuster first, and knew nothing about 
insurance. Wow. Yeah. So prior to that, I lived in Seattle. I worked in technology and nonprofits. So this was totally not known that this would happen. Um, but when I was little, my dad was a claims adjuster here. And that's how he started out and raised our family. And so it's kind of come full circle. Was he pretty excited about you working Well, here? he's passed. So mm -hmm. I'm sure he would just be beyond elated. There yeah. you go. Oh, he would just, yeah. <laughs> so I did have this picture. It, I had it at the chamber. Oh, yes. Oh. It's, it's very serendipitous. Oh, I'll be darned. Um, so that's me. I think I was six. It was 1980, so I was six. And that was... And I was right... It, this right would have been the building right next to us. Okay. And I came to see Dad after ballet class. Ah. So, boy, but when I was in this picture, I had no idea... What was in store. Well, so. that picture could uh, could be an ad for the business. Yeah, I guess. But, you know, the mutual is about so much more than just me. And I think that's really important to, you know, touch base on. So mm -hmm. hopefully we can do that. Well, that is incredible. Yeah. There, um, as, a, uh, as a recipient of Business of the Year, um, that's got to be very pride. have a lot of pride. And that's really a neat thing. I mean, that's something that uh, you're being recognized and there's a lot of great businesses in Washington and Washington County. Yes. Now on Michelle on that, does it on the, is it when the chamber picks, is it just in the city, the business, or is it for the whole County? How do you, how do you decide that? It would be primarily with the city of Washington. Okay. We do have some partners kind of in our neighboring communities though. Right. But I mean, there's just a lot of great businesses. So that's, that's quite, quite an achievement and quite an honor. Um, for the future, what do you see your business doing? Wow. You know, that's, that's interesting. We are in the business of severe weather. Yeah. So and we're getting in that season. Is, you know, it's, it's constantly changing and, the insurance industry itself is changing. So I don't know if anyone really knows, you know, how this industry itself is going to go because mutuals are vulnerable because we don't have the large resources that the big box companies do. So. Mm -hmm. Now we just had what the year anniversary of that big tornado that came through last year mm -hmm. in, in mm -hmm. March. Um, how did you, was your business affected well, by that as minorly, far as? Minorly, we were hit more by the May 7th, okay. 2023. That became a catastrophic wow. event for us. So, and then of course the derecho of 2020. Oh, August 2020, yeah. I really like to never hear that word again, but. It yeah, was, it was a word before that time I never heard of. Yeah, it yeah. was really just an unprecedented event for our mutual and several other mutuals in the state. Um, it was catastrophic. Mm -hmm. um, we had never seen anything like it. And I think I had just been a manager a couple of years. So trial by fire. Yeah. It was insane. Now, but, you know, really prepared us for whatever's to come. But mm -hmm. I don't think people in the community know that, you know, we were serving people in Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, any town you can think of in 15 counties in our little old Right office from Washington. Here. Yeah. Wow. So it was quite an event. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the clients knew yes, and did. appreciated it. Yes, they did. It was a multi-million dollar event for us. Wow. That's incredible. Now, um, you, this building that we're in, we're right on the almost completely northeast corner mm -hmm. of the square, but we're right off of, uh, what is it, Iowa and Maine. Yes. And we're just one one building in from the north on that that right on that northeast corner now you said this building used to take up or used to be on the other side of that yes we were or on the, the actual corner door, yeah. right so, that's and, where it historically start you know the original okay so i think it still counts the whole 150 because yes. you you're in business the whole time yes, so there, yes, you, there yes. you go uh, well michelle um when you're when you're out and about, and uh, what do you hear about the businesses in the community? What from from shoppers, from visitors, from residents? As far as what what are some of the things that people say about Washington, Iowa businesses? Um, you know, unfortunately, people really say that they're surprised and that they had no idea, and so. It's good that we get this great feedback, but it's terrible that people don't know about all the different amenities and businesses. 
And then we always hear how welcome they feel, how much they enjoy their time. And they're just like, your community is gorgeous and the people yeah. are so nice. And as someone that's promoting Washington, it's really hard. I like, I, I don't know if I can't figure out how to do a slogan. That's just like, mm -hmm. we're really nice. Like really <laughs> <laughs> we're a cute, nice community. Mm -hmm. yeah. We get that yeah. feedback a lot of times. And, um, and maybe that's part of the secret is that we haven't been completely changed by modern influences mm -hmm. and there's a charm to the community and when um, tragedies and disasters come upon us we work together and we know each other try to support each other and you know um, fight some of those outside influences so we know that we're supporting our families mm -hmm. um, but that's probably the biggest thing that I hear is just how welcome and supportive people feel and um and well a lot of communities this size do not have the amenities or the businesses that this town has mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's for sure yeah. and and um i don't want to take away from any of the businesses in town that are not downtown because there's lots mm -hmm. of good businesses and restaurants and such but the downtown and the square and central park and the businesses around it it's just beautiful. The fountain, especially in the good weather yeah. times with the, the with the lights at night and everything, just it's wonderful. And you've got a lot of uh, uh, community events that take place at the park. And the other thing about this town square is a good portion, I mean, very few storefronts are closed. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, the community has done a great job of making this a thriving place. It's a it's a place where you go to a lot of small towns and their town squares are look like ghost towns. Yeah, they're boarded up or, yeah. Yeah, or worse. And yeah. and uh, this is not that way. This is a beautiful walking scenario. And um, you've got a park that you can walk through and make your trip even shorter. You don't have mm -hmm. to walk the whole perimeter but me personally i like to get my steps in so that <laughs> that makes it easy but um just it's a wonderful community yeah and like uh statistically our population has continued to see growth so we've never really had a decline mm -hmm. we've got a business park in the community we've got residential areas the city is planning for future development and so again you know just taking care of each other and making sure that we are a self-supporting community and that includes all the businesses, right? And um, and then it's great to be able to highlight some of these businesses, right? Because maybe someone is unfamiliar with Mutual, <clears throat> right? but get to show what it's like in this corner of the mm -hmm. square and what you guys are working on and everything like that because yeah. it all comes together. It all comes well, together. Well, I can also just, to what Michelle said, and I think you also left and came back, but I, you know, I went to the University of Iowa and then left and sowed my oats and I couldn't believe what I came back to. Really, there was art galleries and yeah. I was just really impressed. It, it, it is impressive. It had just changed so much. But, you know, I was gone 20 years. So, yeah, you know, I have uh, I'm from the Quad Cities area and uh, I have friends that come down every year for the Paws and More car show, mm -hmm. the classic car show and yes. hot rides and um and they're from the Quad Cities area, and they're from the Clinton County area, and and um, over in Rock Island County. And they come here, and they're just so impressed with the town yeah. and what's available here. And so uh, they'll even come the night before and spend the night. Yes. And uh, and um, it just is is really it's a gem. It's when a gem. We have business people come in from out of town for mutual business. They always say the same thing: just your town is so cute, and yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Well, I I thank you, ladies, for your time today. I thank you for um, uh, the things you do here in the in the community to make it uh, a pleasant place to be. And congratulations on business of the year. And Michelle, anything that I I need to ask about the chamber before I wrap up? I don't think so. Uh -huh. I just appreciate you helping us uh, shed some light on this well-deserving business and yes, um, thank you a lot of people don't know yeah. what we do here so oh i, I want to ask I, I i asked this off camera but i need to ask on camera 
the award. Was it a was it a plaque or what? Yeah, what? it's like okay. a it's a plaque. Okay. In the office. And you don't have to give it back. That's I the business is yes. forever. It's uh, forever. It's on the books. <laughs> all right. But we were talking about like what a mutual is or what makes right. that unique. That right. was off camera. I, I, I would yeah. like to grab that very quickly. Please. Because, uh, I think a lot of people think that we own the mutual, but in reality, policyholders own the mutual. So I'm more like an executive director, like Michelle is at the chamber. So any profit that we receive goes into a surplus for policyholders. Okay. So I don't own the place. We have a board of directors that govern and um, it's policyholder owned. So everything we do here is in the best interest of the policyholder because they own this remote control here. And gotcha. <laughs> this gotcha. chair and yeah. um, all that. So now if people would like to learn more about the business, is there a website or a Facebook page? Oh, What's we have fhmutual.com. Um, okay. may get all the information you need there, but there's a lot of information I think on the web about mutuals in general, but there's usually one in every County. Okay. I think Iowa has 80. Okay. So if you like the small atmosphere, you have local agents, all of our agents are local. Very it's, good. And you said FH Mutual. Yes. Okay. By this time, I promise you, people will have seen this a couple times on their screen. And we well. are reinsured by Grinnell Mutual. So they protect us when we've reached our maximum of protection. And then it goes on and on with reinsurance. So we have as much resources and funds as the big box. And I don't think people know that, but we do. Well, that's very good we to can, know. We can protect your home and farm. Just like All they right, can. folks, if you're listening so. or watching uh, and you want to learn more, fhmutual.com. And you can always Google Suzanne Wood, too. I'm sure she sure, can help. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Congratulations to Farm and Mutual Insurance, not only for being the business of the year, but also for celebrating 150 years, sesquicentennial in business. Thanks again to Suzanne Wood and Michelle Redlinger for being on today. And thanks to you for watching. And thanks to our sponsors, Griner Auto Body, Car Doctor, Hinshaw Trailer Sales, McDonald Boneyard, Girling Repair, B&B Propane, and the family of Jet Stops. I'm your host, John Bain. Stay friendly, Southeast Iowa.